now diaphragm what is diaphragm this is nothing but a structure one support is provided likewise support is there and in between this uh, support there is a elastic element and when we people are applying a force from the lower side at due to its elasticity we people are getting the molding of uh, this one or the displacement of the uh, diaphragm will take place and here we are connecting suppose i have connected uh, the core of the lvdt so this core uh, is acting as a secondary transducer and we people are connecting that particular aspect uh, over here so the resultant output generated uh, will be like this okay so here we people are applying the input and there is a movement due to if suppose pressure applied is uh, p1 and that pressure will try to move this core in the backward and to generate the electrical output but prior to that what is the uh, uh, diaphragm one of the best example i would like to give for the diaphragm that we people are visiting the clinics okay so in that particular clinic doctors are checking the heart rate of the human and uh, that heart rate is measured or the beats of the heart are measured depending upon depending upon the uh, input of the heart beat that has been measured with the stethoscope so on the stethoscope there is a diaphragm so movement of the diaphragm will take place and that movement is sensed by the stethoscope and here by uh, our auditory system that is nothing but the ear so the second type of the uh, gauges used uh, for the deflection of the flexible membrane separates region of the differential pressure they will try to separate the uh, pressure that is i have shown uh, it just now now the amount of deflection of that particular diaphragm is uh, repeatable for the known pressure that how much pressure we have applied as an input so um, thus the pressure can be uh, measured using calibration now uh, deformation among the uh, deflection or the deformation among that particular uh, diaphragm of a thin uh, filament is uh, totally depend upon the difference in the pressure between its two faces so where are that two particular faces these are the two faces and this is nothing but the that thin filament and below or either upward side or lower side we people are applying a force and this deformation will take place okay so over here we people are measuring that uh, particular uh, differentiation which we people are getting so the reference phase where uh, we people uh, can be uh, open to the atmosphere that means now opposite to that of our uh, pressure where we people are applying to measure the gauge pressure so open to the second port to measure the differential pressure or sealed against a vacuum so either it can be enclosed one or either it can be open to the atmospheric uh, pressure uh, or it can even be uh, fixed uh, to one of the point okay so this reference pressure to measure a absolute pressure okay so the deformation can be measured using either mechanical one either optical one or capacitive one uh, so for this one uh, we are using a ceramic and a metal diaphragm are uh, used over here it is used over here okay so these are the thing but these are the materials that are uh, used to design that particular uh, uh, diaphragm okay now uh, these are the some of the structure that i have specified uh, over here for the measurement of low pressure for measurement of low pressure the material that we people are using is phosphorus bronze silicon bronze beryllium copper inconon and other the uh, chromium nickel uh, mono alloy these are the materials that can be used so non metallic stack diaphragm has no elastic characteristic 
actually we people uh, are using some uh, metallic mean uh, because uh, they are having a uh, elastic characteristic that can be feasibly uh, try to generate the result or output uh, as we people are providing the input as an uh, pressure okay so non metallic that is the salt diaphragm has no elastic characteristic means elas minimum elasticity is present we can't say that elasticity is not present but minimum elasticity is present that will try to generate very slow uh, uh, low output but uh, this makes the polythene uh, neoprene silk uh, synthetic uh, material so non metallic uh, or uh, metallic has a good spring characteristic and that will try to provide the resultant output for the measurement of pressure in the range of 50 pascal to 0.1 mega pascal means when we are using a metallic type of uh, uh, diaphragm uh, in that one uh, the pressure measurement range is starting from 50 pascal to 0.1 mega pascal so some of the uh, diaphragm has been uh, represented over here so convex diaphragm first one is your convex diaphragm so this convex diaphragm will try to generate uh, actually if you see this particular structure uh, in between the two capsules actually the diaphragm is uh, placed and uh, in the another one this is the open uh, one and the diaphragm pressure here we people are actually applying the pressure so it will try to generate the uh, motion in back and forth in a manner then third one is a corrugated single uh, type of uh, uh, diaphragm so all these three uh, contents are different so the its significance is also a different one but one of the last uh, if you try to observe that the last one is having the multiple capsule so this is one uh, the this one is the another one and uh, this one is the uh, third one so this structure is also like this now uh, the fixed end is over here and uh, free end is over here so if i am applying a pressure at this particular point this is going to uh, impact the movement or the motion in the upward direction and this motion is carried forward to the third one which is resulting in the motion of our free end so that output generated that output will be uh, Uh, provide the movement, but uh, this movement, back and forth movement, which we people are getting at the free end, that particular movement at this particular one is totally depends upon the applied uh, pressure uh, input which we have applied. Similar is the case with this one. Similar is the case with this one, and similar is the case with the first one. How this works and how the structure is represented over here. so in this particular mean actually this is the structure or the casing which we people are having and here is the opening across this one we are applying the pressure now this particular one is the diaphragm what is going to happen when we are applying a, a sudden pressure of particular value this will try to deflect in the upward direction this will try to deflect in the upward direction due to the applied pressure this will move uh, in the upward direction when this is moving it is connected to uh, the uh, lip spring and pointer so when pressure is applied this will move in the upward direction resulting the pointer to be uh, moved either in the backward uh, depending upon whether we are increasing the pressure or whether we are decreasing the pressure depending on that actually the movement of the pointer is taking place and uh, uh, generating the output uh, in terms of whatever our uh, requirement uh, we people so here as i have specified that this is the elastic one the movement which we people are getting of this particular diaphragm in the upward direction this is the deformation or uh, the elasticity uh, uh, of that particular material which is resulting in the motion in the forward direction of the uh, flexible one or uh, free end so uh, this happens only due to the 
elasticity of that particular material that uh, uh, try to generate an uh, output 